Let's go. Welcome to the first episode of our Let's Play of Star Citizen Alpha 2. Point one one. I'm really excited to bring to this this game to the channel. And if you're unfamiliar with what Star Citizen is, I did a first look at that kind of reviews it or gives it a preview in depth. But essentially, it's like Wing Commander Online, except you can get in and out of your your spaceships and you can do a lot of different things, um, and really explore as a character, not only being stuck in your spaceship, which is really cool. So I'm really excited to play this, and I have yet to. I've yet to check out the freelancer. So when you first log in the game, uh, there is you can log into Port Alistar, which allows you to play with other people based on you know who's logged into that specific shard. Looks like we're getting pushed here a little bit. And the way this series is going to run is we're going to do some episodes, have some fun with it until we either die or until the game crashes, uh, more or less, or when we kill people. Uh, but we're just going to have some fun and explore the universe that Star Citizen is currently offering to us. The game is in alpha, so it's in an early, early state, but it's still a lot of fun, especially if you've been longing for a space sim. Uh, like back in the day at, at Wing Commander. But anyways, so when you first log in, this is where you can go to uh, to summon your ship, more or less. So we're right now we're at a spaceport, and you see all these different terminals. You'll see randomly, you'll see people run in here and kind of run to the terminal and and then um, summon their ship. So what we're gonna do right now, I thought I saw someone there, but let's switch to third person mode. We're gonna go in and request the ship. So the Aurora is one of the main starting ships. So if you pledge to this game or if, if you support the game in the early status right now so you can't really buy the game right now you can just help support it and, and you get access to the game and you get access to the single player campaign that's supposed to come out at the end of this year in 2016 but anyways you can pick from two starting ships either the aurora or the mustang and so the aurora is kind of like i like to call it a bucket of bolts and um so we're not going to start with that see someone try to push us out of the way uh but in in the updated in since the release of 2.11, it's released the, the Freelancer in-game. I have yet to see it in this in Alpha 2.11, so we're going to go ahead and summon that. Um, so I just want to give you guys a, a little recap of the ships that we own. So the Aurora is kind of like the Bucket of Bolts baseline ship. The Anvil Hornet is like the quintessential fighter. Uh, the Freelancer is kind of like a mid-range, um, I believe going to hold up to two people like a mid-range exploration type trade ship so it's kind of like a jack of all trades and then the Andromeda is a large multi-crew ship with I believe it's somewhere between four and six people you can carry along with you or have in your crew so I like to, I guess what you could say is for right now for really basic explanation the Freelancer is is in between the Hornet and the uh, the constellation or the Connie I might have called it Andromeda Andromeda is a is a version of the constellation so the constellation is the base ship the Andromeda is like a variant of that so and then the Merlin's a, just a small like secondary ship that I believe re is released out of the constellation so anyways we're gonna I'm really excited to start with the Freelancer because I haven't seen it yet I've seen it in the home hangar but I haven't seen it in functioning you know in this functional format because once they release a ship uh, which there are a lot, a lot of ships. That's one of the most exciting parts, if not the most exciting part about the game. Uh, but as they develop them, they release them into the the uh, the alpha versions that are released. And so once a new ship is added, you know, a lot there's a lot of excitement around it because if you've never seen this game. The the amount of detail put into each one of the ships is just incredible. I mean, just just look at this. And a lot of people have been asking. Um, based off the first look video, hey Dan, what kind of specs uh, is your computer? Um, so I can see how well it's going to run on mine. So all that information is going to be in the description of the video below. But in terms of what I use to control, you know, the ships, when we go first person, I'm mouse and keyboard. But when we go into the ship, which so this is the basic spaceport if you've never seen this, and um, once I go into the ship, then I switch to my throttle and joystick and I use the CH fighter stick pro and the USB pro throttle all made by CH products so that's what I'm currently using let's go find our freelancer here I wasn't paying attention as to where what number dock it was at but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there she is right there look at that beauty <laughs> look at that so there is, there's the Avenger. That's another ship I'd like to get, and I'll probably end up buying. Uh, so the way the ships work right now, you you can buy them outside of the game with real money. But eventually in game, once you know 
the game's release, you can earn all the ships, you know, in-game. You don't have to buy them with real money. So here we go. This is our Freelancer. And I'm really excited to go in for the first time. And, and like I said, this is an alpha, so there are going to be some glitches and whatnot. But really excited uh, to take a look at this. So we have the, actually, we have the Freelancer Max. And I'm not sure if this is the proper one or not, but let's go ahead and... So there's different variants of the Freelancer. And, um, come on, let us in. It's not going to let us in there. Let's go in the tail end. Look at this. It's, <laughs> it's, I don't know, I, I just, the amount of detail that's being pl placed in this game is, you know, second to none. So let's go ahead and go in, in the rear entryway here. We'll take her for her inaugural spin. So back here, eventually, you know, the way I see myself playing the game when it's released, at least to start, is, um, let me go ahead and close this, hopefully. Let's go back to first person. Can we close this? Is, I, I see myself being a traitor. So kind of, maybe like smuggler sl slash trader. I just really enjoy that aspect of being able to, you know, buy goods and services at one, not goods and services, buy goods and buy cargo at one end of the galaxy for a very small price and then fly it through maybe dangerous situations and get to the other side of the galaxy and make a large profit on it so this is be this would be where you would find our cargo stored in this particular ship so let's go ahead and that's nice they've done a nice job because they they redid this from their initial um their initial release of the freelancer what's down here let's go ahead and go first person view I don't know, maybe that side door is not working. So let's go ahead and... Looks like we got clipped out of it. So we're just not going to mess with those side doors because apparently they don't seem to be working properly. But let's go ahead and... Hop in here again. And a lot of people are saying, Hey Dan, do you think it's worth it to, you know, pledge and get into the alpha? You know, and here's, here's my thoughts on it. If you're looking for, like, the next space sim... This is going to be it. Um, and if you plan on playing the single player, which is Squadron 42, so there's Star Citizen, which is the online world, and Squadron 42 is the single player campaign, much like a Wing Commander. And if you plan on playing Squadron 42, and you plan on buying it, then, in my opinion, if you're a fan of Space Sims, you might as well get into the game now and mess around and have fun with it, because it's going to cost you the same amount. Um, what the heck? Is that Pam Anderson? <laughs> it's gonna cost you the same amount anyways um and it may even be more once squadron 42 is released but anyway so you get access to it um but any, so here, here we have our our crew sleeping area and so i guess this for some reason i looked online and i want to say that the freelancer could only hold two people that doesn't make sense clearly by this cockpit so let's go ahead and strap in for the first time Oh, did you see that person go flying by? Ooh, I like that. I never noticed that before. Welcome. Your journey begins now. Sisters All right. On. So this is an interesting viewpoint because in the other ships that we've been in, we're dead center. So we're either sitting in the middle seat in the Connie, or there's only one seat in the Hornet or the, the, the bucket of bolts. So it's a definitely a different perspective. One of the cool things that I really enjoy about this game is that each ship has a different manufacturer. Um, you know, much like cars, so there's like Ford and GM, and each has their own style. Now, of course, inside the game, there's not Ford and GM, but there's like Anvil, RSI. I believe this one is... Uh, this is MSI. What is this one? I don't remember. Um, I should know that, but I don't. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing started. And... Launch sequence. Complete. Take off. Excellent. So this, this has Contact. a very confined cockpit which is a little bit different all the other ships we have are, are more open so our field division is a little higher uh, but let's go ahead and we're going to take off here and i'll give you guys a little a little look at where we just came from so switching between inside and out so here's the, the port we just came from let me go ahead and see if make sure my thrusters are working awesome so we'll go for a little quick tour right now. Uh, guns are disabled in this area for griefing reasons. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just let's go back to first person view. And 
what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start exploring some areas. I have a, a particular favorite area to go to because there's a lot of action generally in that area. So let's go. So what I just did is I switched to quantum jump mode and, and it's really intuitive in terms of how to jump to different areas. You know, one of my complaints against Elite Dangerous is just very convoluted and how to get from like different, different point to points, you know, Contact. in different space, you know, when you're making space jumps. So here we go. Here's all this currently in Alpha 2.11. Here's all the the nav points that we're able to go to. So there's a there's a large amount of them. And throughout this this uh, this series, we're gonna explore them all because I haven't been to them all. But in our true fashion, let's go ahead. We're gonna go to Port Korea first because there's there's a lot of action there usually, and um, and I always like to go and get a gun or get the ballistic rifle to start. So let's go ahead. And Quantum we're gonna travel. fast Initiate. travel here. It's really intuitive. So you you flip on your quantum travel mode, which brings up that that HUD where you can pick your point, you hit a button and you jump. And there you go. It's very straightforward, which is awesome. Contact. It's really exciting. I'm really excited about it. All right, so right now it doesn't look like there's any targets in the area. Um, oh, I stand corrected. So here's our first individual. Let me see if I can target him. Shield charging. Uh, where's my targeting? There we go. Oh, oh, excuse me. I think, you know, we're gonna play I wonder if we ran into it. I don't have an answer as to what happened there, but there's our first potential of many deaths in this series. Um, I don't have an answer as to why we died there, but I was just about to say we we're going to unleash our uh, our weapons on that ship for the first time. Um, but that's all right. So now you guys get the point of how things are going to go here. And uh, let's go ahead and let's go get our freelancer again. And then, uh, we're gonna go back there. For whatever reason, I mean, Port Korea, that's, you know, I, I can't say this is for certainty, but that, I think it's the only place where you can pick up a ballistic rifle, um, at least that I've found so far in the game. I haven't done a, a lot of research, I haven't explored a lot of areas yet, which is what I'm really excited to do here in the series. Um, what is this? I think to go summon our, our ship. Um, but anyways, so yeah, so there's always a lot of action there. I've never gone from... From the bed area directly to the port. So let's go ahead, we need to go summon a recall. I don't know what, I don't know what the verbiage they're using in game. Um, shout out to, to Big Benny's noodle bowls. Um, I don't know what they're calling to summon the ship, but whatever the proper terminology is. Misk. How did I not know it was Misk Freelancer? Um, RSI Aurora. So Misk is the um, is the manufacturer. I can see the face palms already in, in the YouTube comments from our Star Citizen aficionados. But anyways, let's go ahead and I didn't even pay attention as to what as to what pad the Freelancer was going to be dropped in, in it, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but for our purposes, we're going to hop in it very quickly and uh, make our way back to Port Korea and see what the heck happened. Uh, if we go in our HUD, in our, there we go. So as you guys notice, um, so there's, a, you can see right on the HUD, it says uh, Miss Freelancer 140 meters away. So when you're in third person mode, you're not looking through your HUD. Um, or your heads-up display on your actual helmet. So, I guess that's one of the, the drawbacks of that, which makes sense. Um, because it just wouldn't be as accurate if you were able to see everything there. So, let me give you guys just another look at that. So, see, you can see the, the blue targeting, which is cool. I wish the side doors worked, but we're not going to mess with them for now. So, there's someone. Don't even try and get in our ship, pal. Go to your bucket of bolts. All right, so let's go ahead and what I was gonna say prior to us dying, I was gonna say that we're gonna be a little bit of a, I guess you could say, swashbuckler or scumbag or <laughs> scallywag. We're gonna kill some people um, if we have the opportunity unprovoked because 
When we when we're in the freelancer, that's a, that's our that's the persona we're gonna take on. Let's get it. Your out journey here. begins now. Systems on. All right. Launch sequence complete. So we're out of here. Let's Contact. go ahead and let's go ahead and get the heck out of here and let us let's go ahead and find our first jump again. So we're gonna go front collision. So we're gonna go go to Korea, Quantum and travel and I I spent a lot of time trying to go through different setups, different key bindings to find the right fit. And for me, because with the CH products, there's an ex, external program you can use to do that. Um, but I found the best system for me is to actually use rebind the keys in the game, um, and, and it's worked pretty well. So let's go ahead and see what if I can target here. Remember. Speaking of bindings, there we go. Let's see who we got here. I know why also target. So we have Commander Nico. I don't know what sort of ship he's in. Um, he's pretty far away though. Who else is here? Is he though? Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna go to we're gonna go to cruise mode, which t essentially 10x is our speed, if not more. And we're gonna go. why we just have those on um so we we overshot him by a by a camel's water back so that's something we got to get better at in terms of see he's he's coming after us he's gonna try what is going on here i don't even know what sort of ship he's in Well, that wasn't the smoothest of situations. So as you guys can, can see, we're definitely trying to get our bearings here. Um, but there's, I guess you could call that, if, we'd probably like to keep score throughout the series. So right now it's uh, bad guys two, the swashbuckler zero right now. Um, what I'm gonna do here though, after we've, we've taken our freelancer out twice, I'm not overly familiar with that ship and I need to look into as to why I probably need to set my my firings, my group firings, into both. So it looked like the way we were firing, only one of the weapons, one side was firing off, which is fine. Uh, but I just haven't set it up yet. So we're gonna go back there and seek revenge with our Hornet, which is, you know, the standard fighter, which is relatively powerful. All right, so let's go ahead. And where is our Hornet at? There she is. So let's see if we can get a little revenge here, and at least go out and get a ballistic rifle, and then get the heck out of there. Because we haven't even haven't even see, had a chance to see what can happen when we go into first-person mode with the weapon. So you actually start with. Um, I don't know if we can draw it out here. I don't think we can. So you start with a little little pea shooter pistol. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and hop in our. Anvil Hornet, and then see if we can get up. What was that guy's name? Commander Keen, Apogee Software. 1988. Where is? There we go. No, it's probably in the early 90s. I would say maybe 89. Commander Keen. Anyways, let's go ahead. And get into our standard Hornet. I'm pretty tempted to upgrade this to a Ghost Hornet. So there's different variants of the Hornet. One of which that I like. It's the Ghost Hornet. It, it, essentially, it's a Hornet in a different type of alloy metal. It's very dark and it's harder to detect in radar. And I just feel like that's going to be more of our style of combat in this. So let's go ahead and work from the shadows. So as you guys can see, this HUD is, or this view is way different. All systems online. But the manufacturer of this ship is Anvil, as opposed to Misk with Freelancer, and we're out of here. So for the second time, third time, let's go back to Korea. North Korea, where are you? Over here. Why are we not? Oh, what a reason our throttle was not doing what it needs to do. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and wait till we clear this area here. I wonder what happens if we go into cruise mode. 
Quantum travel that doesn't matter. initiate it. So I was, what I was gonna see is let's see if we can go to cruise mode, which like 10x, 10x is our speed. If we can go to cruise mode to get through there and then quantum jump while we're in cruise mode. We'll try that. So there's our old quantum freelancer. Let's see what sort of scumbags are around here. Uh, just don't remember which one's gonna start targeting. Boogie, scanning. There we go. This is a Cutlass CMP2504. Let's see how we stack up against this. How far is he? Oh, he's near us. He's right up there. What's up, sir? How are you? Are you friendly? Oh. Are we not gimbaled? Where's our shots at? Shot. Online. Yeah, we're not. We are. Our thing. We need a gimbal lock here. What's up? There. We go. Forget what. How we Player. gimbaled here. No. Oh, come on. Uh, there it is. Okay. So we got our, our gimbal nation. All right. Let's go ahead and T A G inside. This is a fellow hornet. I wonder if he took that other guy out. What other individuals we got here? TAG inside. Should we go take him out? He's, he's in a hornet. I don't know if we want to mess with that. But let's go ahead. How are we doing speed-wise? We're okay. Let's go into uh, SCM, which I believe is the combat mode. Let's get after him here. All right, buddy. Hang tight. You could be our first kill, buddy. Oh. Hang tight, hang tight. Welcome to Star Citizen. Did... Who got... The, did he explode too? Bad Guys 3. Swashbucklers and scallywags. Zero. That's alright, we can't go out like that. We gotta get a kill. I would prefer, like, Hornet versus Hornet, we definitely have the disadvantage due to our, our current flight skills, which we're getting better at. Um, I would like to take, pick on an inferior ship, something like an Aurora, or but or a Mustang, but the Mustangs are pretty darn quick. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the heck's going on in here. All right, so we <laughs> we went 0 for 2 with the Freelancer, 0 for 1 with the Hornet. Let's take out the Connie. You guys are getting getting a view at the, the gamut of ships that we own. So the Constellation is has some serious firepower, and right now, for those of you guys that are Star Citizen aficionados, all my weapons are stock like base weapons. So I haven't bought any with UEC. Um, I haven't upgraded anything yet. Um, but once we get into this, I'll, I'll definitely plan on doing that because I backed this game in October 2012, I want to say, whatever the first, it was backed it within the first few days of the Kickstarter. So I have all of those UEC credits that I haven't even spent yet. So there's the Hornet. Go ahead, sir. There's, it's a nice looking Hornet. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Where is our... There's our Connie. So it went out the complete wrong way. That's alright though. So let's go ahead and... So anyways, so you can... Currently, you can upgrade the gun... Oh, that's a... Is that a Super Hornet with a turret on top? I think it might be. Um, so you can buy different guns and outfit them on your ship. I don't know the extent of what you're able to do that with um, in... In 2.11, but I need to learn more about that. This is cool. This gives you a little. This gives you a great look at the silhouettes of the ship. So on the left, um, on pad two, is an Avenger. So it's a very sleek looking ship. This one was the Hornet we were just in, and then this is the Constellation. That gives you a, an idea of the the scope and size of the ships. And this is this is pretty awesome. So the Connie I actually have. So this is a base model Constellation. The, the Constellation variant that I have is the Phoenix, which is very egregious and over the top. It's uh, it's done in like wood grain and white leather and there's a hot tub in it. It's completely unnecessary, but uh, I bought it, I don't know, because 
I don't know, I just liked it. But anyways, let's go ahead. We're gonna this will be our last run at trying to get our first kill here in the Star Citizen series we're gonna start up, but here's another look. So this gives you this is uh, this ship manufactures RSI, which is the same one as what I like to call the Bucket of Bolts or the Aurora. Um, there's another airlock for us to exit out of that does work. And then there's a turret down there, so if you wanted to hop in my ship and, and join me, which hope someday you will, uh, you can hop down there and control the, the turret underneath. But for right now, we're going to take center seat and take command of our constellation. Let's see if we can get a, our first kill here with this bad boy. This this packs a little bit more of a punch. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Also, one of the features I talked about in the first look at video that I love is everything on this heads-up display. Sorry about that. Is real, so it's not just for looks. Like it's all functional. So if landing gear raised, radar. It's all interactive. It's not for just for looks. It. it it's responsive as to what you do in the game. So for one more time, let's go back to Korea. Hopefully. Um, so that's my throttle. There we go. So let's bring up the points. And then this one is definitely... The cool thing about this game is in terms of how it feels, the Constellation feels a lot heavier than the... Hornet and the Hornet feels a lot lighter Quantum than the Freelancer and so it's very accurate and this you could definitely feel it and it feels great like you feel like you're moving a much larger ship um, so it's not as agile um, but maybe a little more hostile than the Hornet I don't know if that's a true statement but here we go we've got some we got some action let's go ahead and target we have Jack Axton who else is here that's it Jack Axton I think there's some other action going on around here, but let's go ahead and who's he firing at? No one, those are just stars. So we may this may be our first act of scumbaggery. Let's go. Oh, careful, careful, careful. We need to just very carefully maybe let's thrust around here. Yeah, there's some action. You got him. Let's go. All right, we got our first kill. We're officially entered in the Star Citizen scumbaggery for totally just smoking that guy for no apparent reason. Port shields. Up oh, there's so there's someone. Someone's firing a ballistic rifle at us. You hear that? The little pea shooter. It's actually a little more than pea shooter. He did some damage. All right, so let's see if we can find. shooting at us here. See, is there any more? Nope, we don't want that. Let's go ahead and see who's available here. So, initially what I wanted to do was hop out of here and sh go into this station and get a ballistic rifle. Oh, let's carefully do that. Oh, do you see that guy? Radar contact. Stand by. Scanning. Front shield. Oh, completely out of control. Where'd he go? All right, we're gonna make a pass through with this guy. Got to be careful, man. I, I am clearly not the most agile of missiles. Drop some shafts. Drop some shafts. Missile evaded. All right. Okay, who's this? Know what he is? Oh, Hang in there. Hang in there. So there's our freelancer. We may have to go get that thing. Target him, please. Hang on. There he is. He's in a cutlass. Okay. Oh, this guy got us last time. Hang tight. Oh, we're not. We got to gimbal up. There we go. Hang tight. Alright, let's go ahead and speed out of here. Hang tight. 
I don't know who's getting us, but we're getting lit right now. Inbound missile, chaff, chaff, chaff. We may actually, we're gonna bail out of this thing, I think. Why are we not moving? Hang on, hang on. We've got a little bit of a dilemma here. I'm, I'm thinking about bailing out of this ship. There we go. I would like to target you. Jack Axe, what is he in? He's having cutlass. Hang tight, hang tight, we got him. We gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here. We're, we're going to cruise mode, get out. Oh, we've got all sorts of issues here. Okay, so I went to cruise mode, so I like 10 x our speed. Oh, look at our left deal is destroyed. Alright, so what I would like to do is maybe get close to our... So when we're in this, like, this cruise mode, it's very, it's a lot more difficult to steer because we're going so fast. You can see that number 635 meters per second. Um, I would like to find our freelancer. Hop out of this, get in the freelancer, and see where, where the ch chips may lie. So where's our freelancer? If we can find it. There it is. I just don't know why we're not moving. Oh, that's 78. Let's go to cruise mode here. Inbound missile. Chaff, chaff, chaff. Oh. Is that coming after us? Alright, this guy wants to... Alright. I wonder if we're getting double teamed here. We're out of here. Get out. Alright, so we're bailing on this thing. Hurry up, get... No! We're just about to eject. I don't have our eject button set yet. Either way, welcome to the world of Star Citizen. We got one kill, so we're one in four right now for those of you guys keeping track. Hope you guys enjoy this. So, in future episodes and future videos we post, looks like we're wearing Crocs kind of there. Um, we're gonna just have some fun with it. We're gonna, we'll get better. We'll get better. Um, but uh, we didn't even get a chance to, to go get the gun. So in the next episode, we'll probably go back to Korea, get a ballistic rifle, and have some fun with this. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is what you guys can expect in these videos, just kind of going out there, messing around, trying to get some kills. And uh, The other thing I really want to do is, in, is by the time, I want to go through and visit all the, the, the nav points. Because I, you know, I may have been to three or four of them. But I know there's a whole bunch, and they've added in some new uh, missions or tasks in the game. So I definitely want to check those out as well. But if you guys enjoyed this video... Uh, you can let me know and help out the series a lot by clicking the like button. Also commenting and say, hey, Dan, yeah, this is something cool I'd like to see more of on the channel. Um, don't be afraid uh, to leave criticism or constructive criticism or your comments on what we can be doing better because, uh, you know, there, there was a comment on the the first look at video said hey Dan you need a pop filter well there's a pop filter in front of me now so I really appreciate you know those those especially people who know a lot more about the game um, we're definitely gonna be learning and, and I'm gonna be uh, keeping update updates with this and and as the new patches come out I'll, I may even do some patch video releases giving you guys updates as to what's new because I'm gonna be following this game very closely from here on out and, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I don't know what you're doing here but that's that's scary man you, maybe it's it's time for you to call it a night. Maybe he's been eating that Big Benny's noodles. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.